guys, welcome, it's Natty. Let's pot up a plant today, shall we? So today I got this uh, guy I'm gonna pot up today. I found it at Ross for $6, I believe. It was like six, maybe $5.99 or $6.99. I can't remember, and I already took the price thing off, so I can't remember, but I got this. Um, again, just some landscaping cloth weed barrier that I put in the bottom to cover the hole. And we're gonna pot up this one, maybe this one, this beautiful lady, and maybe some of these. I don't know, I'm trying to do, because it is a seashell uh, shape, I'm trying to do something that looks seashellist. Doesn't this look like it belongs in the ocean? So pretty. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's start. Okay, so I moved to a bigger tote because I know I'm gonna make a mess and try not to make too big of a mess in my kitchen. So I filled it up with soil mostly and then um, Yeah, so that's took quite a bit of soil. So let's see how this looks in here. This is pretty dry. The soil, my soil is has a little bit of moisture in it, so I think that's actually going to be a good thing. I want the grass here and then lump up. Plants, maybe. I think so. The soil is actually pretty good. It's got a lot of perlite in it. And maybe some pumice. Yeah, pumice too. I think I'll mix that into my other soil good one. So actually what I'm going to do, I think, let's see, turn this so you can see a little bit. Put this down in here. or do I want it over here? Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Anyway, I'm trying to decide where I want this to. My dog's freaking out because we got a new washing machine today and she does not like the noises that it makes. Lola, hush. She's a not wanting to change dog. Anything we do changes. She does not like different noises. Anything that makes a noise, well, she doesn't like it. Hmm, I think I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna move it over here. This is where I was originally gonna put it and then I thought maybe I should put it down there. But now, I think I'm gonna move it. So it does have a few um, dead thing areas right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video. It does have a few dead pieces right there. So I'm trying to decide if I should cut those out or just leave it. I don't know. Lola, 
It's okay. She's such a weird dog. You think in her life, she's 10 years old. Well, she'll be 10 years old in June. You think in her lifetime she would get used to different things, but nope. Anything that changes, she does not like it. It actually is quite a bit louder than our old washer, so that's kind of sucky, but I'm happy to have a new washer. Our washer's been broken, broken, broken for about two and a half weeks, and I'll tell you what, I do not like having a broken washer. I do not do well with change myself, because that was not fun. But I'm lucky my sister lives close enough that I can go to her house and do laundry at her house. She's nice. Okay, let's see, I think that's better up here. And then these guys, maybe I won't use that one. I kind of want this one in there. But it's just because it's pretty color. Isn't that pretty? And look at the big flower it's growing. So this is the Pachyveria Royal Flush that I got at Walmart um, not too long ago. Um, let's see here. This soil is like super sandy. Sandy, sandy. That leaf's a gunner. I'm going to throw that away. Can you see? Look, it's got a baby growing right there underneath. Isn't it cute? So you'd think that this was getting too much water because its leaves are tr being transparent, but it's not. Look how dry. I mean, I haven't watered it since I bought it, so I don't know why it's doing that, but I think I'm gonna shove it in right here. Sorry, that soil when it gets stuck in my throat. The dust from it. Let's see. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think it needs to be lower. really wanted it to be squishy and just like full you know what I mean if you watch my videos you know how I love to pack them in and I and I think in my at least in my experience the more I pack it in the tighter it is the better off my plants do I don't know why it's probably all in my head but that's what I feel Pack them in tight, they like it. Let's see, I'm gonna move this one over. I don't know how this is gonna work. I thought it would be fun with this thing right here because it dips down, but now I don't know if it's gonna keep my soil in. Let's see how it happens. Sorry, I don't know what happened. It stopped recording. Oh, anyway, I got this guy in, the topsy-turvy, and trying to figure out how to keep her up. How cute is that? Isn't it so cute? Aww. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, I have... I did this one here. And maybe this down here. Oh, 
Let's see, like more oceany. We have this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try these too. I'm trying to fit all these in. I like it squishy. And this one, I have not watered it. I don't think. Oh, I did water it once. Never mind. I did water it right before our trip. Um, it is pretty dang soaked still. Or not soaked, but it's pretty wet. Pretty moist. I should say it's moist. Moist is not a great word, is it? But it's moist. It is moist. So cute. I want you to fit in here with my other ones. Actually, maybe I want that one down lower. Put this one up here. Creating kind of a wave, right? <gasps> Oops. Oh, geez. You know what? No wonder why this is like this. It's not even rooted. No, it was all shrivelly. There's no roots in there. Hmm. I wonder if I should just... Yeah, I'm just gonna stick it in there anyway. It'll root eventually, right? Uh, take this piece of watch chain out. That was a bystander. Oh, I'm glad I got the bigger toe out because this is making the biggest mess. I wonder why this is not rooted. Oh, I guess I see a little teeny tiny white roots on here. They're teeny tiny. I would call them hairs rather than roots right now. But they're there, I guess. It just, um, it needed more time to root than it got, I guess. Ooh, I love it. Now if I can get it to stay in here, that would be great, right? This is a little bit trickier than I thought it would be keep all these guys up right. Actually, I think this, if I put this one in, it's gonna hold up more of them. I'm just gonna move that out. Actually, I gotta move a lot more out. So that it can sit down low enough get it to nestle down inside and then everything else can kind of just be held in place with it, right? I hope, anyway. Let's see, that's, sorry, I gotta turn it for just a minute. I will let you know if this stays together or not. <laughs> this is kind of a odd shape. Let's 
chopsticks I got when I ordered my um, pumice from Jack's Bonsai Pumice Shop. I really like the, it really does come in handy. It's a good, great tool. So thanks for that to send with my plants. We'll see how this works out. I don't know. I really want it to be good. I really hope it does. Because as of right now, I really like it. I love how packed it is. Yay! What do you think? Does that look like underwater? In a seashell? <laughs> oh, you know what? I have some coral stuff that I could put on top. Well, it's called this. Um, ancient pebbles. Um, I got it at the Cactus and Tropical store. It doesn't say what kind it is. That just I think that's just the brand that they have. But anyways, it's got a lot of coral and stuff. That might be pretty on there. Or should I just do shells? Maybe I should just do shells actually. Because I don't know how well this is gonna go and I have a lot more shells than I do that one. Like I said, I don't know if this is gonna um, survive. This a little arrangement that I did. Okay. I think we're pretty well packed in. I'm just gonna clean it up and then and clean up my workstation so I can put the top dressing on it and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're cleaned up and now I think I'm just gonna do I decided, I think, on the shell. Um, to go with the shell, right? This turned out really cute, though. I'm really happy with it. So hopefully, it does okay. Oh, and then I had to look up where we went because I could not, for the life of me, remember. Um, it was called Telluride um, in Colorado. It's just a mountain town that's got beautiful ski resorts and you go on a gondola ride all across from the very top of the mountain, which I think was like 14,000 feet elevation. Um, and then all the way down to the bottom where the town, city, town, I think it's a town, is. And it was really fun. My kids loved the gondola ride. That was really fun. It was, I was a little bit scared because I'm a little bit scared of heights but it was really fun. We loved it. And I cannot believe I had to look it up. I could not for the life of me remember where we had gone. Anyway, so there's that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, my camera keeps turning off and I don't know why. I didn't miss much, but oh my goodness, it's annoying keeps doing that. All right, let's hope that this, everybody does okay. I think actually on this, there's another one of these leaves that's kind of um, just gushy. I don't know. I'm gonna 
take it off though, because it's maybe. Oh my goodness, it's gushy, but it wants to stay. Never mind. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave that leaf on because it wants to stay there. Oh, today's been one of those days, weird things. But I got a washer that works and it's going and I'm so happy. Like I said, it's been about two, two and a half weeks since my washer broke. And uh, oh, I'm glad we got one that's working now. Thank goodness it ended up being covered by the warranty. So they let us switch out a new, for a new one. Okay, this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because it wants to fall down the mountainside here. <laughs> this might be pretty messy for a while. It's probably just gonna keep losing shell for a while until it gets settled. I might have to water it in a little bit. Give it a few days and then I might add some more shell there. Let it get settled in. Oh, guys, you, I love this. Oh, it turned out so pretty. So pretty. And then also I was telling you I was doing a baby shower for my sister-in-law. That was this weekend, that was on Sunday. And it turned out so cute, the little succulents I did. I'll have to add a picture at the end of what they looked like when they were all done. They were so cute in their little buckets. I don't know how long they'll survive in that, but I did um, put a hole in the bottom of each of the buckets. Actually, I think that was one I had my son do, so. But anyways, they all had a hole, so hopefully it'll be, their, their plants will live and be happy. Okay. You guys, I'm pretty happy with this. And I've got a lot more planting to go, planting to do, as you know, because you've seen all the plants I've been buying. And I keep telling myself to stop, but we all know it's not happening. Although I've gone to the plant store twice and Lowe's twice and I have not bought any more plants. I just, I was looking for pots is what I was looking for and I was trying to focus and I have succeeded in not buying any more plants to add that need to be done. They want a shell in here or I don't know what I want. Anyway, okay, I will post some pictures and um, at the end and you can see how it all looks pretty photographed I hope thanks you guys for watching and all my new subscribers you guys thank you and my subscribers that have started with me wow thanks guys thank you thank you thank you for um, subscribing to me and um, continuing to support me and leave me kind comments and uh, get me motivated all your guys's videos uh, keeps me motivated to keep doing it and it's okay. It's not a bad thing to be addicted to plants, to succulents and cactus, right? It's a good thing. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.